What's up? Brad Ian and Johnson here, and uh, with an email reply. This is a really good email. Uh, it's on Matt Ogus. Uh, hey man, I recently subscribed to your channel and it's because of the refeeding video. It's always a refeeding video. Uh, but then I saw more vids, of course. And man, you could give great, give great advice. I figured I'd ask a question. I'm subbed to a bunch of YouTube channels. I've never asked them anything. Look at that. First question, first reply. Anyways, I went on Facebook and saw that Ogus was having 55 grams of fat, 345 grams of carbs, 225 grams of protein. I know he's cutting and is in the 160s range for his weight. In kilograms, that's about 73 kilograms. Don't worry, I've got, I'm cool with pounds. His uh, total amount of calories comes out around 2700 and I just don't get how his body allows him to eat so much and not be considered in a surplus. Do you think he's either reverse dieting, having a maintenance week or what? Can't be a refeed because his protein is way too high. Good man. And uh, I know you're a busy guy, but if you could answer this, I'd be impressed to see what your opinion is. There's no opinion, man. I'm going to give you some facts. I'll make it real simple for you. Okay, mathematics. Yeah? First of all, he has an incredibly low body fat percentage at the moment, which means his weight is his lean muscle mass. Let's say it's in the 160s range. He is pure muscle 160s. You see him, he's huge, he's ripped, he's massive, he's strong, yeah? That means his metabolic rate is higher than the average person's for that weight. Somebody who's really weak and weedy and, and is also 160 pounds, maybe they're tall and thin or whatever, or maybe they're just you know, short and fat, whatever it is, um, will not have as high a metabolic rate as somebody that trains as often as he does, as hard as he does, and has as much muscle mass as he does. So, in terms of calories, never use the calorie number to indicate anything. I personally, at 2,700 calories, I would lose about 1.4 kilograms a week. That is nothing calories for me. I would be famished at my current body fat percentage. Shall I down up and give you a little idea of what my body fat percentage is? Yeah, it's always good for the videos. This is my current body fat percentage. As you can see, it's not nothing like competition, but I'm hardly fat. So, for me, at my height, 6'1", with my lean body, mass, uh, my muscle mass, which is nowhere near Ogus's, I eat much, 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 much more than that. So ignore the calorie numbers. But what you should look at is the, um, as you did, is the uh, protein numbers, etc. Now, the first thing you noticed is that his protein number is too high for him to be on a refeed. Completely correct. By any professional's calculation of a refeed, you would never be on a protein that's in excess of your body weight in pounds. His body weight being 160, he's on 225 grams. He is hitting a, a minimum of, but it works out a bit, a bit more, I can't do the math off the top of my head, but it's about 2.3 times his body, 2.3, 1.3 times his body weight in pounds of protein. I say 1.25 times your body weight in pounds in protein for maximal muscle retention uh, during a cut. He's during a cut, which is why his protein is so high. You eat more protein when you cut, you eat less when you bulk. How, that's just how it works, yeah? His carb number is irrelevant. His carb number will fill in up to whatever his baseline is. So ignore his carb number. You can't get any information from someone's carb number. My carb number is sometimes 500 plus. It, it doesn't mean I'm bulking, it doesn't mean I'm cutting, it's just that's my carb number. It just it fills the rest of the, the, of the calories. He's on 55 grams of fat, which is a tiny amount of fat um, if you are trying to bulk or maintain. It, no one would ever bulk on, so, on such a low fat with that many calories. He is obviously completely clearly in cutting mode. He is trying to lose weight. His body is, let me do the math for 55 times nine, uh, it's 500. 500 calories is about, it's less than two point quarter. It's about 0 0.2, it's about 20%. His fat level is about 20% of total caloric intake. Yeah, those are cutting fat levels. That is not maintenance fat levels. That is not uh, bulking fat levels. He's not trying to pack on muscle. He's trying to lose fat. That's why it's so low. His carb number has to be that high because if it wasn't, he'd lose a lot of muscle. His protein number is high to make sure he retains as much muscle as possible and to aid, and to aid with satiation. That is what's going on there. Just by looking at those numbers, I can tell you what the person's doing, assuming they know what they're doing. So he's definitely cutting on those. Um, yeah, that's my opinion. Never look at people's calorie numbers and think, oh my God, he must be this, he must be doing that, he must be doing that. We're all very, very different. Me personally, I, I would like it if I'm never on 2,700 calories for the remainder of my natural life. Um, I should always be putting on muscle. My calories should be going up. I expect to have a baseline, I'm gonna say this, in two years time, I expect to have a baseline of 5,000 calories. I expect to lose weight on anything under 5,000 calories in two years time. That is, that is one of my goals. I've got, I've got some, I've got goals. I've got 150, uh, 
150 kilogram squat for reps. I've got a 100 kilogram bench for reps. I've got a 200 kilogram deadlift for reps by the end of the year. And by the end of two years, I expect to have a caloric baseline of 5,000 calories. I hope to be well on my way to that by the end of this year. There you go. So yeah, don't look at the calories, look at the macro split and understand the numbers of why people change them and in their relation to body weight. Body weight plus macros will tell you what the person's doing, assuming they're doing it correctly. Hopefully there's been some help. Bradley at just If you have any queries or theories or suggestions or anything, let me know. Other than that, like the video, like my Facebook, follow me on Twitter and Instagram and of course subscribe.